What's up, guys? We're live from the Rojo. Like <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! god. Oh no! Yes, yes, yes. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> <laughs> Dev Game Boy, God damn it! I am Kiana Keith, and I am here today with. Not me, Eli. Hey, what's up? What? I don't need a title. <laughs> You're not fuck the system. You're not doing titles, and okay. I mean, I might. I just don't have. Maybe later. <laughs> eh, I'll do it tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> and I'm Zach. Hey, what's up? <laughs> so, what have you guys been playing lately? You know, I'm going to change my title to Better Than Zach. <laughs> I'm Eli Better Than Zach. There you have it. That's Jamie. <laughs> I think you meant just in general. Uh, possibly. All Zachs, by the way. Not just, <laughs> not just this Zach. Every Zach in the entire like world. Like even Zach from Power Rage? Oh, God. Okay. I guess. I'm gonna... Fuck that guy. You don't like Zach from Power Rage? He's a cool I'm guy. Just, I'm just kidding. He's Asian. He made his own martial arts. Yeah. Uh, Keto Fu. Hot Cheeto food? Pretty sure you're thinking of Adam? No, like the new Zach is Asian. Alright, you fucking nerds. What are we talking about? Yeah, what have, you been, what have you been playing lately? Remember the new Power Rangers, Zach is Asian. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, that so we just go directly away from the topic again? No, sorry. He, he, he still looks confused. I was like... Oh, you meant the movie. Yeah. You could have clarified with the movie. Sorry, the movie. Because, they again, this is a continuing series. They get a new cast, like... Every five months. Tell us what you've been playing, Eli. The Dawn of War. <laughs> like the original Dawn of War from like fucking 15 years ago. Really? Yeah. Huh. It's it was $3 and like 25 cents. I love RTS games. I've never really played a Warhammer game or really gotten into that universe. So I'm kind of starting that. And That's where, good. Where everything is just like, yeah, how badass can we make this? And then they do that. But seriously, what? What have you been playing, Kia? How do you enjoy Dawn of War, though, Never compared mind. to each other RTS games? <laughs> I do enjoy it. I really like the, like the squad system. Basically. That's good. Oh, I'm really good. Uh, Zach, and you asked me what have I been playing? Yes. Well, Zach, I'm about to blow your mind. I've been playing a uh, mighty few games, actually. Did you just play Far Cry 5? I had playing... more. Oh, okay. Douche. Go on. <laughs> Fuck! Okay. <laughs> I also played Sea of Thieves. It was a disappointment. Did you buy it? Nope. <laughs> I had a free trial with the Xbox Game Pass. Oh yeah, Pass. that's right. Because I was uh, I was told to do that, and then later, when I was watching other reviews of it, it was like, oh, other people are like, yeah, I get it with the Game Pass. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm glad I did that. And now you can understand why. Wasn't it free with the Game Pass? It's free with the Game Pass. So I played that for four hours. Now I've done everything except fight a Kraken. <laughs> You thought it was disappointing, didn't you? I did, yeah. He said it was disappointing at the start. Yeah. Uh, legitimately, I'm most disappointed. There's zero difficulty curve. That is correct, yeah. Like, there's a pretty decent learning curve if you don't have someone to show you what to do. Like, I even had people that were like, this is how you tilt the sails and stuff. And it's like, it was still it just took me a minute to figure out everything. But, uh, yeah, like, beating the shit out of skeletons is not fucking hard. Yeah, you not just, hard at all. You just slash them. Yeah. Just, meh. Or shit them from afar. No, the pistol sucks complete ass. I wouldn't recommend it. Fair enough. It's really accurate for being a flintlock pistol, though. <laughs> yeah, probably. There you go. Ah, well, I've been, uh, I played Far Cry 5 a little bit on Jay's Xbox. Mm -hmm. But, uh, I got my brother to download JoJo's Heaven's Gate on his PS4. And while I was doing laundry... I was playing through the story mode on that, and I am quite particularly having fun with it. It is a really fun fighting game. It's not your typical, like, beat, it's not, it's a combination of, like, a beat-em-up in a way, because it's like in a 2v2 arena kind of thing. It's weird. I don't know how to explain it. But it's fun. I main Josuke. He's my dude. Do you spam his powers? See, Josuke is weird. Josuke is a support character in the fighting game, because Crazy Diamond, all he, like Crazy Diamond's an offensive stand, but like he also heals people. That's like his ability. Like he, Josuke can't heal himself, 
but he can heal his teammate using Crazy Diamond. Why are you looking at me like that? Fucking weird. Why? What's this? I'm over here. I'm playing Warhammer. That's fucking weird. But you're playing weird shit. <laughs> How is that weird shit? Oh, God. Everything. Everything you said. It's all I need. Also, also, I located a copy of Champions of Norath. Oh, Zach, we're going to take your yeah, PS2 now. PS2. What? Oh, we're going to need okay. your PS2. Hey, what are my PS2? Yes. He needs a child soul in exchange for his Also yeah, one of those, <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yes, definitely. Most definitely. <laughs> no, and then I was like looking at gameplay of Star, uh, Kirby Star Allies, because I found it to be interesting. Still don't want to buy a Switch <laughs> yet, though. Not even for Super Switch Bros? It doesn't come out until probably the end of the year, though. Yeah. yeah. That's the thing. I didn't like Breath of the Wild as much as everyone else did. I played it on the. I played it on someone's Switch, and I don't find it as fun as everyone else did. Like, I get why it's a good game. It's visually stunning. It's just, just not my cup of tea. A lot of creativity. Is right. You can do things however the fuck you How feel often like. do you drink tea? I actually have, like, three different styles of tea. What kind? Um, I have uh, oolong, green, and then I have a sleepy time tea if I can't go to bed. All of those are pretty Asian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they pretty are. Pretty Asian. I don't think they can trust him. Mm. Gil, have you been <laughs> playing anything I don't trust lately? Any of you. Come on, I mean, that's valid. Yeah. <laughs> have you been playing anything lately? No, not really. Not really? Not really. Sadly. Zach, have you been playing any good wrestling games? I actually uh, went and bought Mafia 3 and have played through that a little bit. How do you enjoy Mafia 3? Eh, it's alright. As everyone said, the gameplay is pretty repetitive. <laughs> what? This coming from the guy who told me he wasn't ever going to get it. because I wanted the solid. deluxe edition, and then I finally oh, was okay. like, fuck it. I'm just going to buy it. I told you get it, and you're like, no, I don't want to. Like, I can just watch you, videos on it. Tell you what you, you do. It. You go out and buy yourself a copy of StarCraft. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> just, just remastered it not that long ago. On Steam. It's for free. It's not on Steam. Blizzard doesn't put their shit on Starcraft Steam. StarCraft is oh. free. What? Starcraft, you can download StarCraft for free. No, but the remastered. Oh, well... That's $10. Yeah, you don't need the re... If he's starting out, he doesn't need the remastered one. I'm just saying... Why wouldn't you take a better graphic? He might if he's never played games that old. Eli wants me to test my skills and start with StarCraft. No, people say he's bad at games, I just don't think he's played StarCraft. You're a soul man. South Korea. Anyway. (laughs) StarCraft is a... Fun game. I like. I actually like StarCraft more than I like Warcraft. I don't know about you, but I, I do. The same fucking game. I don't really care. Yeah, and that's about all I've been playing this week. Mafia Three. I grew up with both of them, but I preferred Warcraft. So. I still prefer Mafia Two. Is it Mafia because of the three. orcs? Well, yeah, it was totally because of the medieval theme. Yeah. That's yeah, like, that's right. You're not. not you're not. You're not a big on the future shit. <laughs> I mean, I am. It's just gotta be good. So, like, 40k probably isn't your cup of tea. Playing Dawn of War, 40k. Mm, okay, never mind. So what I, I mean, said. Why are people trying doing? to get into it? Thing is, like, 40k still has quite a bit of medieval yeah. themes. Like the Imperium of Man. They're just like fucking. Holy they're robot Roman. knights. Yeah, they're just the Holy Roman Empire. Yeah, pretty much. And yeah, like the Space Marines are basically robot knights because they're very religious. Really have guns. They have like like chain blade swords, right? I mean, they have those too. They also have guns. Yeah, yeah, there's there's a lot of melee fighting that goes. Yeah, I was gonna say a lot of the things that I've seen from Warhammer 40k is like the dudes don't have guns. They just have their chain blade shit. They have those too. Usually, you have like like a chain blade fucking like sword and then a pistol or like submachine gun type gun oh yeah sword. also I tried out Broly and Bardock on Fighter Z. I mean fighters you kind of interrupted him yeah, I don't give a shit oh he was done I'm just talking about Warhammer yeah. I mean fighters yeah Fighter Z. Fighters. fighters we're not we're going I'm not going into the semantics of this <laughs> don't <laughs> Van Dyne Namco don't stylistically choose to make the Z bigger than everything else and not think someone's gonna be like oh Dragon Ball really, Fighter Z I really hope it wasn't even like their decision. It was just like an artist's fucking. It was like Ark's <laughs> choice. Be like, yeah. So we have the cover for your game, Ark. Yeah. Yeah. We have these. Yeah. It was like a little Z, big Z, <laughs> medium Z, 
Bigger Z. I like the idea that Biggest one of them was Z. just Comic Sans, just <laughs> Dragon Ball. <laughs> Dragon Ball. And uh, Broly's a Broly's a fun character. He's a he, he's a brawler, and Bardock is fast and faster than Goku. And yeah, I like I like them both. As put them on the team, I would not personally because I don't. Um, I already have my main team set. With Beerus, Kid Boo, and Cell, because those guys are like top tier good characters. But uh, yeah. Are you any good with them? I am. But are you are you any good though? Yeah, I mean I'm I'm reasonably good. <laughs> Keep in mind, beating any of us means nothing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, like, <laughs> especially when you've had way more practice than that. So especially when you've played like, the game. I was, before we... I was about to say, it looks like we're holding a tournament. <laughs> What's I don't want to. That's what I felt bad. Like I kind of felt bad. I with might. Doom. I would probably play uh, Mortal Kombat. No. Injustice. No. Street Fighter. Street Fighter. No. Super Switch Bros. No, the, Tekken. The, the, Whatever the, the one is with Geralt. Oh, Soul Calibur. Soul Calibur. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, no. But like, before we get into that, like the whole like, like I did. I've played Mortal Kombat XL for a long time, and like, Lindsay, she's like. What game do you want to play? I'm like, oh, do you want to play Mortal Kombat? I haven't played that in forever. I was just got done playing it before she came over. Of course, did he come back? <laughs> She's like, yeah. I was like, I can't remember the controls. Do you want to just like look at the controls? I chose Scorpion. What a douche. <laughs> so you set her off. An actual douchebag. <clears throat> She's I would like, never do that to a person. Be like, you know, you want to play Halo? I haven't played it in forever. I don't even remember how. <laughs> She's like, I was like, she's like, I can't remember the controls. I'm like, all right, let's just put like the control, like press start, and we'll see all the controls. I'm like, mm. Mm. She's like, are you ready? I'm like, I think I am. I, I, I haven't like, I, I'm a little rusty. I'm like, let me nearly teleport kick, teleport kick, teleport kick, teleport. Oh, wow. I'm just juggling <laughs> the shit out of her, and then she's like, stop <laughs> doing that. I'm like, hellfire, teleport kick, Absolutely. teleport, teleport kick. Wow. Just oh. juggling like. Why we then, don't play games with Kian? Except for Smash. Like, I just was like, oh, I wish I had the video. Like, I would, if I had someone else, I'd be like, here's my phone. I need you to record this awesome jungle technique. Because it was, I was playing a scorpion, and I was like, slash, 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 up, oh, teleport kick, teleport kick, teleport kick, hell power. I was just, ah, oh, just a scumbag. Good, <laughs> you good dick. destructive combo. You, you were good. That's why I'd almost be more fine with playing uh, Soul Calibur anyway. I don't think anyone's played that really. God damn like, it. Very much, though. But that one that he's in? Yeah, they all have the same, like... They have the general same control. Right, that's not the first not trailer we're going to go into. General, it will be now, because we were talking about... Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. The fucking have a segue. Order. It doesn't matter. Yeah. So the segue is that, yeah, we just watched the Geralt train... Geralt, um... Geralt. Yeah. What the fuck ever? It really doesn't matter. They <laughs> say both. Gary! Either, even in the game, they yeah. say both. Gary of Bavaria. We must save my family. He doesn't have a Gary family. The They're already dead. It looks like die. you're not wrong. Anyway. I like the idea that like city like because I don't think Ubisoft was around for the Soul Calibur Five XGO reveal. They're just like, yeah, you can use a character. Yeah. Like this one, they're like CD Projekt Red's like, no, 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 no. We're making you sure that like right. it works. Perfectly fine. Yeah. Wait, not, so you're telling me that people were complaining that Ezio was revealed and it didn't work very well? Kind of like the Assassin's Creed games after the like, 3 where it's all buggy as hell? I mean, they were all really shit on the initial release. 3 wasn't really that buggy. A lot of them were. Brotherhood was fun. Brotherhood was good, but like... It was I never really uh, noticed that many. Well, I thought three. Brotherhood, like, I thought Two's trilogy story was just boring, though. Oh, the stories always suck. <laughs> I mean, we're talking about the games were. Oh, yeah. Well, three was okay. Four was so so, but it was fun. Was four the one that had the Jack the Ripper DLC? Four had pirates, you see. Well, yeah, four had pirates. Which one was the one that had the Jack the Ripper that DLC? That was the Syndicate, I oh. think. Yeah, that was after Unity. Yeah, they're remastering Assassin's Creed Rogue and putting it on Xbox One. But why? Good, because it only came out for the 360. But they're remastering it so that they can make very slight changes and charge you $60 again. 
I liked Rogue, though. I never did not fix any of the bugs. Oh, yeah. It's, there are any. I don't know. Rogue was fun. Because you played as an anti-assassin. And you kind of do in all the games these days. Like, Unity, I don't think you end as an assassin. In fucking... Black, Black flag, flag, you did the guy who killed the assassin. And yeah, you're just a pirate. Just, you kind of become an assassin and help him out, but then at the end of it, you're not... You're not part of the crew. They're like, all right, cool, now fuck off. In three, <laughs> you are an assassin, but it's kind of weird. It's weird how he gets like, there. Your dad was like a Templar? He was a Templar. Yeah. He was actually, he was Edward and then you Kenway's go and, like grandson, I think. Yeah. And then you go and train with an assassin, I believe. Yeah, you train with an old black man. Morgan Freeman. <laughs> so this, there was the one where you played as the one on the PSP was actually super interesting. It's where you were the female assassin. Like the th the interesting part of that is that like you switched between like because you were you were a person of like high standards, but you could because you were half black but you were half black though. So like sometimes you had to go like assassin sneak in like slave camps. So you like had to wear slave clothing and stuff like that. Like that's a the context that I'm bringing out here sounds really, really bad, but like it made the game and gameplay interesting. I was gonna say, in Sim anyway, you guys play so. so yeah, and I, I never played Origins yet, so it's okay. I'm not going to. But uh, with Someday this, Zach will play a game that'll just blow you all out of the us, water. Tell us about it. Back to Jerry, Gary, <laughs> Jerry, <laughs> Gary yeah. of the River. It's interesting. Like I, I hope it's good. Like. I don't think, I think the only times I've been excited for a guest character was Link was on Soul Calibur 2, but then I found out it was just on the GameCube and I had a PlayStation 2, I was like, well, fuck! <laughs> and then I was pretty excited for, I was pretty excited for the, uh, I was pretty excited for, yeah, that's the thing, I was excited for Darth Vader being Soul Calibur 4, but apparently it was only a PS3 exclusive and I had an X, I just <laughs> bought my Xbox. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I was so pissed off. Like, I didn't remember God, that. And like, because I hate Yoda. Like, I don't like Yoda just in general. I just like, let John hear you say that. <sighs> Why, is he a big Yoda fan? I know he really likes Puppet Yoda. <laughs> he does not like Flippy Yoda. Yeah, but that's what you got was Flippy Yoda, though. Yoda. I thought it was, like, that's the thing. Yoda was, like, three feet he was and, like, so small you could cheese his hitbox. Yeah, but like everyone else was taller. Than, like when you fought Nightmare, you're just like, this is like a small child with like a toy fighting like a big man with a fucking sword. Yeah, a toy that can cut through anything. Yeah, it's not anything. Semantics on like how magic works. Most shit. anything. And a kid that does. And they never shit. really explain why they were on Soul Calibur. This is, I'm assuming, they're going to explain why Gerald is. Well, they kind of gave a reasoning. Like, in The Witcher, you go into different... No, I mean, like, when when they put Darth Vader and The Apprentice and... Yeah, I know. And I said, with this one, they probably... Yeah. Because they talked about it a little bit, but yeah. Which they, made it interesting. They haven't out since you traveled to different fucking planes of existence. But now we go into something incredible. Oh my god. And also that Geralt hates portals. Anyway... The Lego Incredibles game. This was just an announcement. Yeah. That was a t that, that segue was a two out of ten. Yeah, that I can do. It's not even. Yeah, incredible. you could do better. I'm more psyched about Geralt of Rivia being added to a game than an Incredibles Lego game. <laughs> added to a game you don't even play. Yeah, I don't even <laughs> like fighting games. I genuinely might try it because he's in there. I think I think that's what you like. You're just like, oh, people are gonna know about The Witcher now. I am. That, yeah, and I'm hoping they'll put him in more stuff. Oh, yeah, Geralt for Smash! I don't know, as far as uh, the Incredi Lego Incredibles thing goes, it's basically just going to be the movies all over again, probably tweaking the levels, Yeah. do something like that. Better and get Lego Frozone asking about his super suit. Yeah, they'll probably throw in that humor. Where's my super suit? You know it's going to be like don't... as bad as the Lord of the Rings Lego audio where they just took it from the movie? And no they might do it from that They line. did that with the Lego Avengers, too. They just took the audio from the movie. Did they? Yeah. Did they? I thought yeah, they, they just took it from the movie. Individual speech. No, they took it straight from the movie. Mm -hmm. Anyway, moving on. What's next? <laughs> oh yes. Yeah. Pixel Junk Monsters Two, the tower defense game that brought Eli PTSD and flashbacks of 
Can King Carver Krantz. Tunnel uh, oh, play oh, Stardew Valley? Well, yeah, it's just because it would have started <laughs> off and didn't know it was a tower defense. It just looks peaceful. <laughs> yeah. That's when I get hand grabs, apparently. It's on peaceful <laughs> games. It's like, I'll pick up this radish. Oh, my God! Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> and he's dead. Yeah. No, this game looks interesting. Like I like. I the, mean, like, does it though? It's, no. I like the tiki no. aesthetics. It's weird. No, so the, the aesthetics are pretty, but like, <laughs> this is why you don't touch yeah. shit, Zach. I it's mean, the rule of tape, man. It, like the aesthetics look pretty, but yeah, it's, since it's a tower defense, they gotta be doing something pretty different for me to actually want to play it. I mean, Especially since it looks like I have to buy it, and it's like I can still go online right now and just find a bunch of fucking flash tower defenses. Blues. Right. Yeah, Bloons Tower Defense. Right, and Kingdom I understand Rush that. Like, I get that. Like, it's just like, I don't know. I just... Stylistically, it looks cool. I'm not gonna get it. It's just, I think it looks stylistically pretty. It looks pretty. decent. Yeah. yeah. Like, I can admit when games look pretty, it doesn't mean I'm gonna buy them. Yeah, it looks Sea of Thieves. Yeah. And then, and then you like it's for free. Then we go into Detroit Becoming Human. The, uh... They... Detroit vs. Everybody. <laughs> Okay, was it? It was mainly just them talking to the actors. Yeah. I'm honestly getting sick of these trailers huh? that show very little gameplay and a lot of the art of the people and behind it just which talking. Which one showed gameplay? Goddamn it! <laughs> the Detroit Become Human. Yeah, no. In a sh sense, it showed gameplay. Like it absolutely showed it. gameplay. Not in a sense. I don't hate it because it shows the people behind it. I was like, that's incredible. I, I mean, think the fact that we watched too many getting of them. recognition. Yes, I like, see, that. but that's the thing I was just saying. I like the idea of them, them getting recognition because it's no they longer just... They do amazing work. It's no it longer just like, you're a hype dude. For it. It's no longer just Peter Molyneux is just being like, all right, guys! <laughs> and there's game, a bunch of stuff you're not going to actually like get in my game. game. <laughs> altered the deal. But, like, for me, like, this is, like, just... I like, I like, I like the concept of Detroit becoming human. It is. It's John's worst nightmare, but it's it like. Yeah, it looks like a good game. It looks like a good game. But like, for me, I like seeing, I'm a weird weirdo, because I like when you, sh yeah. when they do motion capture and shit like that, and I love watching it. Like, my, <laughs> one of my favorite still frames, is back to the Hobbit, is the, the frame where Benedict Cumberbatch is doing the buff mocap for Smaug, and his face is like. <laughs> like it's just like it, it like motion capture has in, interested me since the King Kong movie with Jack Black because like I'm weird and like I don't like buying DVDs and Blu-rays unless there's like a uh, lot of special features that go with it because I don't think it's worth buying it like full priced. Yeah. So like. I mean, you could just wait until it gets marked. That's down. what I mean. But like, I really wanted the King Kong Blu-ray and I bought it and. It, Cool. Why? It was a really subpar movie. The Peter Jackson one? Yeah, the one with Jack Black. All of them. Everybody yeah, but like, I like the, the most... The most redeeming quality about that movie is that it had Jack, Jack Black. Black. That's not the most redeeming quality. Yes. I had mo I liked motion capture. That'd Let me fair, fucking please. finish. The most redeeming I'll quality of any movie that has Jack Black in it is that Jack Black is <laughs> it had the motion capture that Andy Serkis did was like interesting to me, and like ever since then I've found motion capture to be interesting. Like, that's like personally like low key why I like watching like Death Battle, the Death Battle cast and stuff like that, because I like when like they have their 3D animator on there, and I like hearing the concept of what it takes to make a 3D thing, because like it's a lot of work. Will you stop playing with the fucking tape? Modeling. What? The 3D models? The 3D models, and like then doing the motion capture for them. Yeah. You also have to take into account the textures. The yeah, colors, exactly. And like, to things. me, that's interesting. Like, I will, like, I have a degree in sci I have a degree in science, but I can never do anything those guys can do. That's because you don't have a Rocks. degree in computer science. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. Like, I, mean, I don't. I don't have graphic a degree in design. Yeah, I don't have a degree in that, and like, I don't think I could ever do something as cool as that. I like the idea of you trying to make that work with rocks. <laughs> I made an entire game about geology. rocks. Nat Geo the geology no, game. Just trying to like 3D animate <laughs> rocks. For forty nine ninety nine, you get the Joseph Joestar DLC. Oh my god! Oh my Holy god! Holy shit! That's like my ideal game now. It's like Pokemon, but like rocks instead. You just like. <laughs> 
That <laughs> rock fighter? What? You got a yeah. stalagmite. It's about to evolve. Your quartz has evolved. Rose quartz. Steven Universe, the game. Okay. Then we go into the Walking Dead game, which was, again... Another interview. Interview. I mean... I didn't pull anything away from this. Honestly, good for them for showing more of their artists and the developer team behind I've it. I've just realized that a lot just of European make people make our video games. video, and if you're going to advertise our the game, ones. advertise yeah. the game. Not the company. Right, I understand to what you're fair, doing. I think a lot of the American people work at EA. Yeah, and we got that to know. Of all. They actually did something good recently. Ah, I did. Do you want to tell us about it later? I didn't know if it was in the news or not. It was not in the news, though. Oh, yeah, I'll tell you about it later then. Yeah. Then we go into Battletech, which was basically a giant robot game. Princess got her throne stolen. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Oh, for revenge. Wait, was that You know what's better than that, though? What? That new Gundam Break game. It is, yeah. Which one was the one with swords and guns? I would say that I'd rather play the one we're talking about than the Gundam Break one. Why? Why? He just wants to be counter right No, I really <laughs> just You're don't. a contrary NPC. Like shit. The, no, the Gundam one doesn't really look like it's that much of a game to me. It is, though. It's a fucking... What are you doing in that game, Ken? You kick the shit out of other fucking Gundams. Exactly. I don't give a shit. That's just like a fighting game, but on a 3D scale. And then you, but like right? you, there's a strategy to that game because no, it the looked like they were pretty much shooting through the shit. The fucking armor oh set you get. It's not even no, because if you saw it, raises or lowers your stats. Yeah. <laughs> you could I could still rather play consider. the one that has a story. I bet this one has a story. I bet it's not very good. I bet it good. does not have a story. <laughs> I bet it's better than the cliched, someone stole my throne, now I have to get it back story. Yeah. Mm, I, don't, I don't think it'll be better. I think it'll be equally terrible. See, I don't know. It's Gundam the journey, not the destination. Too. <laughs> yeah, but I think Gundam Breaker just trip. looks like... Gundam's Breaker looks like a game I'll buy just because, like, I like Gundams, and I know Gil really likes Gundams, I also too. genuinely didn't like how the, like, when they were customizing it. It looks very plastic to me. I don't know why. I mean, they're supposed to. They're, they're model Gundam. Like, they're supposed to look like model Gundams. So they're supposed to look like toys, then? Yeah. That's the premises of the oh, game. That's dumb. Did you not see that they were fighting like in a fucking library? Room. No. One of the scenes, they were fighting in, a, in an office building. Oh, well, that's kind of yeah. No, I didn't notice that. Yeah, they're like little toys. That's like... That it, you get to collect parts for, for and then customize. build them and then paint Stealing them. Stealing parts from other kids. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> basically, it's, basically that way. it's robot cannibal. It's like just robot... Cannibal? Not what? cannibalism. Robot, just cannibal. plastic surgery. You're just like taking like parts... It's metabots from on steroids. Yeah, and I fucking love it. It looks so fun. It yeah. can even change the color scheme. That does yeah. help, but yeah. I, I don't know. That is kind of cool. There hasn't really been a game like that since Toy Soldiers. Yeah, and see, that's what I mean. Like, that's like, that's where it's I will... It's a great game, by the way. Yeah, that's why I will have the counter-arguments. You know what I thought, though, when I was thinking about that Gundam's game? How cool would it be to have a Zoids game? Pretty sure they had a couple back Like, on, on the new system. Yeah, that would be cool. Zoids. Because they're like robot gun. They're like animal Gundams. They're like robot animals. Yeah. That you can change the armor for. You say robot animals, and all I can think like of is like the robot T Rex that Optimus yeah. Prime rides around. No, it's they basically yeah. happen. Oh wow! That's, They're like if Megazords. That's yeah, just retarded. They are <laughs> no, <laughs> that. that was awful, and I don't want it in anything. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> they no. also have a Velociraptor. Ever try saying that? has a sniper rifle. Right yeah, I'd rather buy Pixar. <laughs> There's literally also a, the the main character. Every main character has a has a liger. Mobile gun comes a liger. Yeah, he right, he fights with the liger. It's a lion tiger hybrid because it's the most strongest animal in the in the lore. I don't get why. No. I don't know. It's weird. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. In Justice Legendary Edition, you just get all the characters. I just really liked it for the hip hop song. I was like, do 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 do. We did skip over The Walking Dead, didn't we? No, we didn't. We didn't. We talked about this because it was just the an interview. Fuck were we, what the fuck were you what were you supposed to say? Well, I mean, they also did have that trailer. That, was, that was from like five months ago. Oh, okay, yeah, that was like, like months ago, yeah. 
Then we go to God Eater 3. Is that the one that I said was interesting? Yes. Yeah. So the one I said that looked like an anime Dark Souls as a joke. So True. why do you find it you interesting? Need to emphasize that I know, it just looked cool. What makes it look cool? Is it just the hyper? It might just be the flash. Is I mean. that? Yep. That seems about right for Zach, yeah. <laughs> Zach! Can I ask you? I thought it was going to be a generic what is one of your RPG. Favorite, yeah, what is one of your favorite movies? A Few Good Men. Okay. Do you, like, when you think of high, when you think of movies, do you prefer high octane? Did you like Justice League when they were just doing they exploding? Like Suicide Squad. You like Suicide Squad, I forgot. Not as much anymore. <laughs> anymore. <laughs> anymore. <laughs> Everyone else didn't like it. So <laughs> Do you I, like, I went like back it. and rewatched it. Do you like the like, action uh, scenes in Suicide Squad a lot? Was it Slipknot? Did he really just like <laughs> capture Slipknot the Slipknot was my favorite you? character. Yeah. <laughs> Walked out of the theater when Did he, he really capture my heart? Or was that all an act? <laughs> I think God Eater looks interesting. It just kind of reminds me of Ruby, but I think God Eater came out before Ruby. Here's why it reminds me of Ruby. They have guns that turn into swords that turn into guns. I'm pretty sure that those games came out when like the PSP was still around. Yeah, so they came out before Way. Ruby. That's what I mean though, because like they both have that same concept, but like one did it first, and yeah. the other one did it as well. Not as good. <laughs> dying light prison heist, guys. There's it's a dying. Mode. And light, and prisons, and heists, and I didn't, I, for, I forgot this was game, but uh. <laughs> I already said I didn't care. <laughs> I thought you played Dying Light. No. He said oh, horde mode for a game that's already a horde mode. Oh yeah, that's right. Then we go to Marvel Strike Force, and God, that... Like, Crossbones commits suicide. <laughs> he does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How many times have we we'll watched it? Three times. Yeah. Three times. There was actually another trailer that I forgot to post with Marvel Strike Force. Did you see the medic guy in the background? Yeah. So like there was a crossbones out. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so there's this there's this like one there was this like inner monologue trailer that was like, I didn't ask to be a hero. I don't have a shiny shiny cape or a big hammer. I didn't I'm choose just, the hero. I'm just here to help people. And he's he's the first one that runs out and he gets shot and he dies. And Drax is like, ha! And that's the end of the trailer. Oh, I kind of want to see, see that one this now. after the podcast. Oh my god, I like forgot. I thought that was going to be on this one. I'm like, oh, there's more to this. No, there isn't. But like, yeah, no. He's like, but I guess that's what it means to be a hero. And he walks out and choosh. Oh god. I'm going to find it. We're gonna watch it afterwards. And then we go into Dragon Quest Eleven, or Zach doesn't can't tell what's a man or a woman. I'm sorry, okay. I mean, to be you shouldn't fair, be sorry most... for us. You should be sorry for yourself. <laughs> Trailer, I'm sorry you for stupid everyone. son of a bitch. Right. Easy there. It's verbally that, that's, that's that one. What, this one. That's yeah. that one. Okay, that one. Well, we're gonna watch it. After. But yeah, no, like, Dragon Quest is an interesting series to key, and I didn't know they they made one past three, so. Yeah, they've kept that thing pretty alive. Yeah. Never heard of it. There's a dragon, and there's a quest. Oh, and then there are some. It actually looks semi interesting to me, I won't lie. Really? And then the even, artist did even, Dragon Ball. Yeah. Didn't someone say it looked like The Legend of Zelda? That was me in the beginning. Akira Toriyama did the first three. Doesn't he still do the art, though? They just stylistically... It's just like how... Toyo, Similar. Yeah, it's like how Toyotaru does the Dragon Ball Super manga. And uh, it's sure. not a Toriyama. What? Fucking words. Not even words. <laughs> just making shit up. <laughs> They're just random noises. Similar artist style. Eli's looking at me like, you oh, piece of shit fuck. for knowing... Holy shit. Knowing all about Dragon Ball and... Like, you're gonna be like... Hinohoki Araki isn't a real word either. He's no. the artist of JoJo. And that's... Sounds like an ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what's on the actual news? As it goes on, Fortnite developer Epic has revealed that guided missiles and an Easter themed quest line are coming to Fortnite. And that an exclusive new pickaxe will be available to Twitch Prime subscribers. That is just guided rockets are already. That is just an axe with eggs on it. Oh, no, no, yeah. They're pretty oh, gay. <laughs> 
Really? Or yeah, bunny ears. Or shaped also, like a that you can what buy a three ninety nine starter candy. pack for Battle Royale yep. and Twitch. That's also a thing. You that's also a, really stupid. Get a bunch of stuff. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know how to feel about that. I think that. it's dumb, but... Yeah, I just... But does better. it let you ride the walrus? Or the Hasselhoff? Mm. The walrus. There's a walrus? I don't... Have you never seen Futurama? Yeah. Right, the walrus. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't like Fortnite, so, like, I'm not one of those people. I like Fortnite. I mean, like, I'm not a big fan of it because, like... I don't talk about it, but I play the shit out of Fortnite every <laughs> week. I just don't want to mention it every week. <laughs> yeah, like, for me, for Fortnite now, though, is this, like, where you were explaining how, like, because Twitch just took it over, it's kind of, like... I liked it in the beginning. You and I had this conversation. I liked it in the beginning. Yeah. It just kind of got kind of lame. Well, everybody kind of came over <laughs> Ooh, PUBG. Plus, I'm also fucking sick of my brother snapping me like, first place, dude. I'm like, you're gay. I hate you. <laughs> yeah, apparently that's a big thing, and I don't, I don't get it. Yeah, it's not that impressive, really. It's, getting first in those games is more luck based than anything, especially on mobile. Nah, yeah, God. <laughs> Forgot it came out for mobile. Ah, uh, that's uh, fucking right. PUBG. I played the PUBG mobile game. It's boring. <laughs> Just like regular PUBG. It's like yeah. ninety percent, like ninety of the people are actually bots. Yeah. Oh, they put bots in. Yeah. Oh, wow. Just so it just because there won't be a ridiculous amount of lag if you have multiple. So it's it's a, yeah. <laughs> Rare jolly old pirate game, Sea of Thieves. Oh, hey, look, but it got bad reviews. Has become Microsoft's fastest selling new IP of Xbox One generation. And that was already the best-selling Microsoft Studio game on Windows 10. More than a million people played on launch day and more than two million in launch week. And how many of them got rid now, of it? I'd like to point out... And how many of them got it I free? think that includes the numbers from the Game Pass. Yeah, I was going to wonder how many of them, those are the free people. So yeah, it's just like, yeah, I played it, but for free they didn't get my money. <laughs> I know it's pretty universally stated that like, it, it's not good. You shouldn't buy it for sixty dollars. It's not worth it. Yeah, like, there's a whole thing where it's like they're adding the content, though, guys. And it's like, fuck you. I'm not paying sixty dollars for to wait and let them add content. <laughs> yeah, right. When uh, when they uh, when when Far Cry Five came out, Jay's like, peace. Yeah, yeah, I noticed that too. Cause I actually I got it because Jay was playing it so often. And they started playing Far Cry 5, and I was like, ah, fuck. <laughs> now I just have no one to play this with, and it's boring. <laughs> Egypt, Gunkirk, a secret Nazi rocket base, and aerial dogfighting are the highlights of the War Machine Call of Duty's upcoming second DLC pack, due to launch the 10th of April. Fuck em. Wait, I'm really excited. Dunkirk is going to be a map to play on, and... It'll be shitty. Call of Duty. It will be shitty. It but might not be. They've gotten a lot of feedback on how shitty their maps are. <laughs> I like Dunkirk as, like, I think it's an interesting part of the World War II history, so, like, it's like, it's cool to have. Yeah. And you're gonna fight on sphinxes, apparently, in Egypt. And so. you gonna be the reason that the nose falls off? Maybe. Who knows? <laughs> Specifically, Probably the developer's new patch notes state that it is considering operating servers that, so only those players who reside out of the region can connect and play. This is for, uh, PUBG. They're thinking about making uh, re regional servers because apparently there's a lot of hacking in China going on. Yeah. I don't know how you guys feel about that. I, I don't play PUBG. I think just that's so. that against the Chinese. I mean, I don't care, but at the same time, I, I kind of do. I, just hacking in general is... I, I'm not a fan. Yeah, of course. In I mean, PUBG, I couldn't give a fuck. <laughs> that game sucks. Probably easy to hack. You want it to fail that bad, huh? I do. I want it to fail. I want all Battle Royales to fail. That being said, I play a lot of Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> do you want Fortnite to fail? Yes. What? I want Battle Royales is like a hole to fail so we can move on to something better. But like you continuously play it. Like you're part of the problem. I'm not part of the problem. I don't spend fucking money on it. I know, but essentially if you keep playing it... You're, you're part still, of the problem. You're oh, part yeah, of the problem. Like, but it's not like, it's not like feeding, oh, Eli Brown's not playing? <laughs> Shut it down. We're done here. <laughs> you're, not, no, you're not feeding you're the not machine. You're not infecting yeah. other people, but you still have yeah. the illness. Yeah. yeah. You're yeah. not yeah. treating it. Exactly. Yeah. Because I don't care. Go play, play Sea of Thieves. I'm not playing Sea of Thieves. Then I'd be part of the problem. <laughs> then you would be part of the problem, yeah. 
Then Mindy's right on. And it'd be my problem too, because I'd be bored. So Pokemon Go has introduced a new quest system to find Mew. Yeah. They are really running out of ideas with that. I fucking don't understand this. You can do research. I didn't even know you could get TMs now. Neither did I. I you get TMs, rare candies. Makes sense. I don't play any of this. Because you research. You do things now. It's weird. Yeah, like, really? mm -hmm. And apparently kind of they're, then, uh, wait, you have apparently they're also going to like re, re, redux it to make it 8-bit-like, and people are either super happy or super sad. You have to do research in the game now? Yeah, you, know? you apparently, like, someone was showing me these things. Cause he's like, are you guys going to talk about the, the Someone sent me this article. He's a big fan. Of, he's like, he listens to our podcast. He's like, where did you, there's this Pokemon Go thing because I play Pokemon Go? And he, like, showed me the article. I'm like, I don't want to fuck talk about this. That thing was announced like weeks ago. That, that kind of came out. out yeah, that, that's what I mean. It just not came this, out. but like the, the weird research system that makes me want to download the game and see what it's changed into. Then. <laughs> this it's Pokemon's just, weird. Stop taking pictures from. of my German Shepherd, Tom. Put the research system, you're like, oh, what's this Pokemon? That's my German Shepherd, dude. Stop, stop. I'm trying to catch it. It's just not working. I'm just not excited for it. Like, I don't know. Pokemon Go has become such a boring... Like, it's boring to me. There's more content than the Sea of Thieves, though. <laughs> He's not wrong. He's not wrong, but... <laughs> uh, so, Ninja Theory is actually... Uh, Hellblade Senua Sacrifice is coming to Xbox. This April. Eh. Whatever. But Suda51 and... Travis strikes back. Mm. John Cena talks about his approach on the announced Duke Nukem film adaptation. He promised it'll do the character justice. But will he do the character? John Cena says he... he oh, is he Duke Nukem? He is Duke Nukem. I don't know how... Uh, that kind of I works. want it to succeed for ironic purposes. His, his <laughs> voice is Duke Nukem, but the rest of him works for that, I guess. He's not wrong. Just dub over him. Get Tommy Wiseau to just talk in Duke Nukem. I did hit. I did not hit her. I did Double not. Double with like Ron Perlman's voice. Oh, hi, John. Ah, that'd be <laughs> ah, that'd be really dope. Wait, what? Ron Perlman. Ron Perlman from yeah. Hellboy. Yeah. Ah. Uh, oh, another thing. Uwe Boll, the guy who made the shitty uh, video Boll. game movies. He's the guy who boxed a bunch of journalists. <laughs> what? Yeah. That was, He's, that was a while ago. It's been a couple of years. He ago. did what? He boxed He's, journals. So he made a game, and I don't remember what it was, or maybe it was a movie. He made a movie. Okay, and a bunch of people didn't like it, and then he challenged some of the journalists to a boxing match, and he was like, Destroyed. he boxes as like his, yeah, as like a hobby, and so he beat the shit out of him. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> it's just like, what the fuck? That just makes him even more. Because I thought some of them thought it was kind of a joke fight, and then yeah, he. Just, Beat the absolute fuck out of him. That makes Jesus him even Christ. more of a douche. Lord. Like, his movies sure are bad, right? just like his personality. Anyway, go on. So, he's suing the Rampage movie. Why? Because he said he has a movie titled Rampage, and that's a copyright infringement. Fuck off. What's his movie about? It's called Rampage. What's it about? Don't fucking know. Oh, I didn't know if it was a movie he'd made. He did, did make it. Is yeah. it trademarked? No, Rampage is not trademarked. There you go. Huh. He's just a douche and wants to be not like. Did he you? He wants to get back and. See. Have you seen his freak out about people not supporting his Patreon? Oh yeah, yeah. I have. <laughs> and we said he was gonna quit cinema afterwards because people are like yeah. terrible. Really? It's oh. just like do it. Not fucking dares. It you. was fucking. Awesome! He was like, fuck you all! You, you, you don't understand art! <laughs> yep. You don't understand I'm art. I'm surprised you guys didn't know he boxed journalists. That was a big story. Ah, don't that's, really... that's been a while, too. I, I think I remember it. I just, like, Uwe Boll is not a person on my radar. I mean, he's not for me either. He's no not a person on anyone. Yeah, like. Except like, for his wife. Who was celebrity I don't think he has a the fuck out of. Journalist. He yeah, made a postal cool. movie, and that was weird. Oh, really? Yeah. He also made the Far Cry movie. The Far Cry movie. There's a Far Cry movie. I didn't know that. Set in the ones in Africa, the not popular ones. 
You gotta remember. I mean, the they, ones, they did okay. Pre-three? Yeah. Pre-three. Yeah. Pre-three. They did okay. Do you think this... Do you, do you think that Far Cry 3 could become... Could be a movie, though? Like, I feel like out of all of the... Out of any of them, yes. Three would be the most reasonable one. The best change for it would be keep Voss alive till the, the end. The question really is, do I then think Ubisoft Probably. could make a good movie? No, the answer is no, not really. This is because of Assassin's Creed? No, I thought that was okay. Yeah, I thought that was okay. It's everyone else who didn't like Assassin's Creed. Not <laughs> just anyone else. But no, I guess I've never been talked because I actually really like the Tomb Raider movie and like everyone else is going, it sucks. It was good, yeah. It was, like, it was okay. Like, it was like, especially for a video game movie, it was like, man, that's pretty solid. I mean, it was like the uh, one complaint I have is that I think it was just boring in some parts. I didn't think it was boring. I thought it was boring. So what you're saying is it passes being an okay video game movie, but as a movie itself, how does it stack? It's average. It's a good movie. Yeah. It's an average yeah. movie. I'll take his word over it. Average. Yeah, it's you a, said good. You said good like, and average. I think I, I think I gave it a six out of ten. Good and yeah, average. Like I gave it. Yeah. Favor. Like the the plot was okay. That fucking villain made me laugh so much. Even though he's, he's not supposed to be funny. I just have a problem with how much how many arrows she has in her quiver and how many people she kills. Okay. Yeah, there are inconsistencies. Hundred percent accuracy on that villain. He misses one of the main characters and shoots the guy behind guy, him. Yeah. That's my favorite part. Oh, <laughs> so he doesn't even he doesn't even miss. That's the one thing that gets like, the dude does not. Like miss. all his mercenaries have these like fucking rifles and stuff, and he just has like a nine mil. Yeah. And, and he's just, just fucking blasted. Like, yeah, the mercenaries are missing Laura Croft, and he's just like one shotting everyone else. Like, yeah. Douche. Not to mention how she kicked the asses of all the mercenaries too. Yeah, and hand to hand. Still haven't seen the movie. Yeah, she got her ass that. kicked by an a skinny MMA girl, but yet she's able to, like, okay, that's like a I mean, thing. It could there. work, but it's like, these are not very good mercenaries. <laughs> yeah, it's a really shit mercenary. Um, no, oh, speaking of other live action things, they're making a live action Street Fighter series with the uh, team that did Street Fighter's Assassin's Fist. They already tried that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. I fucking spent um, a couple hours on my day off. Watching Amazon exclusive video game stuff, which was the Street Fighter Resurrection, which is like the precursor to Street Fighter V live action, which is super dumb. And like they one line the shit out of everything in that. They're like, Ugh, I'm gonna beat you down. Bring it on. Whoa. Like it's like that old 90s like grit to it. It's like, let's go. Quick question though. Did you ever see the Street Fighter 2 movie? Chun Li's Legend, Legend of Chun Li? No, the live action one. The, the animated one? The live what? action one. <laughs> he just said. Like the Street Fighter, the one with Rob, Rob, Jean Claude Van Damme. Yeah. Yeah, that movie's fucking awesome. That movie's dumb, but it's fucking awesome. Like, they have a fucking. <laughs> fucking face. Like, Giles? Was, John Claude Van Damme film. plays Guile, and Guile is supposed to be like America as fuck, and they pl get like a fucking French dude to play Guile with a French accent. He's like, "We are going to kick Bison's asses," and then they do a scene so where they, they. I don't know why that sounded more Jamaican. <laughs> yeah, we're going they, to kick his ass. They do a scene. Going to kick his I should not. There is a scene with 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 when John Claude Van Damme he. Fucking kid you not. Takes a comb out while fighting Bison. Does this. Does this. And his America tattoo is flexing. What? Yeah. What? You, you can't make that shit up. No. His America tattoo is flexing. And tell all your friends. Elmon Paul is looking for some weed. <laughs> Very high, high as a country. That's though. another. Ah, uh, Double Dragon was a good movie too. It was set in 2012. I've never seen any. And I was rewatching it. It's like the year is 2012. It's semi-post apocalyptic. People are putting like fucking baking grease in their cars to make them go faster. When were these made? <laughs> the 90s. Good lord. The oh, late, the man. early 90s. 20 years from now. It's gonna be fucking down to bacon grease. <laughs> like, oh, I mean, yeah. yeah. Alyssa Milano. Oh my gosh. Those movies were good, bad. The Mortal Kombat movie is on Amazon. Everyone should just Mortal watch it. Kombat. It's so... It's dumb, but so good. Like, Scorpion's one-liners in that. 
Get over here! Get down here! Come here! Does he do that in the <laughs> game? Yeah, they're yeah. All just... No, he says just get over here. He says get over here, but literally like all Scorpion says is just blank here. here. <laughs> Come over down here. here! Yeah. Someone make a compilation of And then they shit. make his kunai. They have one! <laughs> they make his kunai into like a living creature. Yeah. <laughs> It's a living snake thing. <laughs> they spent like a fucking good minute. Chases, I think, yeah. Luke Cage. Johnny Cage. A, was it Johnny Cage? It's Johnny, he fights Johnny Cage. Yeah, it chases no. one of them through a fucking forest. That's they awesome. spent like a 30 second cut of him just doing this, and then like badly CGI'd his hand opening yeah. up, and then like for like there's the five second frame, and then all of a sudden, get in Like, oh my god. <laughs> You know what? They need to, like, if they're going to make video game movies, like they need to make them bad like that again. The best adaptation of a Street Fighter anything is when Jackie Chan played Chun-Li. In City Hunter? Yeah. It's actually, actually a manga adaptation. Yeah. Oh my god. There's actually a manga adaptation of, like, a popular setting manga at the time. Good thing. Yeah, I can't <laughs> know shit. Bam! Dude. I'm a anyway. <laughs> Okay, so the final thing. No Man's Sky Foundation Pathfinder and Atlas Rises updates will have a new uh, system that's coming to the Xbox One called No Man's Sky Next. They're going to be working on legit online play. Oh my god. Oh, that thing that they promised? Yeah. How long has that game been out? <laughs> Fuck, it came out right after it. 2015. Graduated. No right way. It came out in 2016. No, because no, I learned about it in 2016 when I worked at Dairy. Yeah, because Jay just hyped the shit out of yeah, it. Yeah, because Jay was talking about it, and then Kelly was talking about it, and I was like, mm, there's way too much hype for this game. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit this one out. August 9th, 2016. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. It and then it died horribly. Well, again, I don't think, like, again, I don't think it's an imperfect game. My problem. It's pretty bad. My it's bad for what you thought you were getting. getting it. For $60, Much like it's Sea bad. of Thieves. <laughs> Except I think there was probably more to do in No Man's Sky. For $60, it was legitimately bad. Like, in my personal opinion, I would not have paid $60 yeah. to do what I did. And you can't even return it to GameStop for full price. Cause I'm yeah. down Basically, it was a shittier Space Minecraft. Yeah. And Minecraft isn't No, because you can be way more creative in Minecraft. <laughs> That's why I said shittier. Yeah, but it doesn't even fit all the regular Minecraft, like, stuff, much less being in space. So we have a couple of questions. Oh, These are... I, well, I had some interesting news that I'm surprised. Oh, yeah, on Eli, go on. Fucking EA did all sorts of stuff to reverse microtransactions in Battlefront 2. They what? reworked, like, the entire fucking game, like how it works with the star cards and stuff. Uh-huh. They're still mean? in there, but now you can, like, earn that. Okay, so for one, you keep all the star cards that you get. Or that you got. So, like, if you fucking spent $200 on them, you'd still have all those star cards. And then, uh, now you can fucking earn them with, like, skill points through gameplay. It, it works like any other dice game. Like, Battlefield 1, it's like, you get war bonds every time you level up, and you can use those war bonds to buy whatever the fuck you want. I love war bonds. It works like that now. It's like, you get a skill point, you can use that to buy any star card or level up any star card. That's cool. really good. Good job, EA. I'm still like not gonna buy it though. Still covering their asses for the. Oh, terrible absolutely! Decision. But the yeah. fact that they didn't just be like, eh, fuck it, and then just abandon the game, they actually went back and changed it. That <laughs> surprises yeah, me. I'll give them a little bit of credit for that. This yeah, actually is very. Still not gonna buy it. Well, um, yeah, same. And this time I actually mean it. <laughs> so I might, we do. I mean it. We do have a few <laughs> questions. Okay. Who? Tell Do us. you guys play fighting games? And if so, what is your favorite fighting game? No. Soul Calibur. <laughs> you haven't even no. played it yet. <laughs> I haven't even played it. No. Uh, if you count Smash minus Smash, that's really the only Yeah, thing. I'm pretty sure Smash counts. Um, it doesn't fall into anything else, so it kind of has to. It's hard, I yeah. I Smash, too, just because it's outlandish. But yeah, that's why I like it is because it's there. And it's hilarious. There's there's a very high skill gap. Like some people are very very much better than me at Smash. But like, like when it's just friends, it's just Robert. like everyone's pretty much on an equal level of just like stupid bullshit's gonna <laughs> happen. So unless you're that one guy who's like I've been playing all the time just so I can use Star Fox and then just fail miserably, <laughs> and then they rage quit. Yeah. I don't know. Well, you know. 
Rage quitting is not a thing, guys. It's Thank walking you. It's walking away saying it doesn't affect your life and that this game means nothing. <clears throat> Kian is an expert at that. Anyway. <laughs> so yes, that's mine. I'd, I'd go to Smash, too, actually. <sighs> I'm going go with Marvel Ultimate, uh, Marvel Nemesis Ooh. on the Xbox and PlayStation 2. That game was pretty lit. I played a lot of Nemesis, actually, but I just play Spider-Man and swing around and then kick my brother. Kirby <laughs> All-Star <laughs> Arena is also a pretty good... I'm kidding him. I've never uh, played Battle Royale. Battle Royale. Yeah, also, whatever. Fuck you. <laughs> I, guess I also played a lot of Budokai when I was a kid. I used to play... But, like, I was very Power young, so all like, the time on the Super Nintendo. I wasn't good at it. Killer Instinct? Yeah, whatever. No, there, I think there's one called Power Instinct, too. We'll look it up later. Was there a raptor and a giant robot man? No. Was there a boxer? No. I mean, at this point, in most fighting games, there's a boxer. There is a boxer! There was. was. Yeah. yeah, let me look it up. Here. Power, uh, God was gonna say, K.I. is actually The oh, new K.I. Fun. is super fun. I know you got all mad because the Arbiter kept popping up. Yeah, and, well, it was just something that pissed me off. I played... Oh god, I think it was on the PlayStation 1 there was a Star Wars fighting game. Star Wars 3 had a fighting game yeah, mode. I played that. Yeah, no, it's this one. Oh, I didn't know that was a real was thing. It? Power Instinct? Hmm. No, I've never heard of it. Well, it was actually one of my favorite games as a kid on the Super Nintendo. I would essentially say wrestling games count as fighting games, Zach. Really? Yeah. yeah they they have no, they have no other sports, sports game. game. Yeah. I They're, thought they were just beat em ups or some shit. No, that's a, no, that's... Beat em ups is when multiple enemies come at you and you kick the shit out of them. Be like I mean, you kind of do that like, in a handicap match. That's not a beat em up though. It's, it's more it's like still... Fist of the North Star. Isn't that kind of like a beat em up? It is a beat em up. Yeah. 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 I guess. I guess another one was. I don't. John does not like this, but I really like it. J Stars. It's the it's the Japanese Smash with all the Shonen Jump characters. <laughs> so you could have Goku fighting Harshto fighting Ichigo. I mean, I play it. I just—it's an interesting game. I think it's fun. Like the story, like it wasn't forty dollars. It wasn't worth like sixty bucks, but it was—it was fun. There's also another J Stars game that was on the DS. I don't know if you ever played it. It was really fun. And then considered there's a, buying it a couple times. There's a Bleach game that was on the DS that I just played continuously. Like that was just cheap, cheap though, because like you could like the the tap screen was just you could use your spell instead of just doing the combos you could just like click this click this click this like just tap on your screen and like you do it I'm like yeah it's a little cheap um oh yeah Digimon Rumble Arena oh yeah, yeah, yeah. fuck yeah that's yeah, a fucking dope ass that. fighting game I dig it <laughs> never I don't know that. why I never thought of that as a fighting game when I was a kid Never occurred to me that it was the same as like Budokai or something. I and you do you have to do moves. To yeah, yeah, you absolutely do. Yeah, but like, it just never occurred to me. Did anybody ever play Bloody Roar? Yeah, where you turned I into know, fucking animals. Yeah. Like I know of it, but yeah, I played it. like one of the one of the people you turned into was like a lion. It was dude. Some it was of, pretty dope. Tekken is actually another game I actually really like. That was probably the first fighting game I played was Tekken Three. And Next my, one. It's definitely that shitty Star Wars game was the first. <laughs> What's the best Pokemon ripoff and why? Play Digimon. <laughs> Digimon. <laughs> I don't know which one of them came out first. Actually, I don't know. That Pokemon came out before Digimon. Okay, Digimon. <laughs> it did. And 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 no. I thought it didn't. That's why. Digimon In America, it didn't. In America, it didn't. Give a shit they came out around the same time. <laughs> yeah, in Japan, Digimon came out first. But Digimon came out... Uh, as V-Pads. As V-Pads. Uh, and then they adapted it, it into an anime. Michael Vick's dog fighting arena. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, that favorite. could be another favorite, favorite game. rip-off Pokemon. <laughs> Depends what you mean by Pokemon rip-off, because basically you just... Fight, collect, and train. Because like you a lot of games do that. You can essentially say Yu-Gi-Oh is a Pokemon ripoff if you like you count think like, about uh, it. Because you use like monsters to fight. You know what I mean? Yeah. Pokemon Uranium or whatever got shut down. Mm -hmm. I still have fucking ads for that game on my on like Facebook and shit. Oh well, then it probably got brought back. I just don't <laughs> fucking know. I just know Nintendo shut that shit down hard. Yeah. So. Which I would have totally been like Team Sonic and been like, Yo, that's a cool concept. 
Guys, I want to do this game and like make it super popular and then we'll release another game that's not super popular. And that's how Sonic Heroes was created. Not Sonic Heroes. Sonic, Sonic Forces was created. Yeah, I don't. Sonic Heroes is very. I don't weird. really know any Pokemon ripoffs, I guess. Me either. Off the top of my head? Gil? Because, I mean, technically there's yo Watch. You could count. Monster Ranchers. Monster Ranchers. I think. Was Monster Hunter stories like that? Yeah. Because you got eggs. Dual Masters. Um, Bakugan could be counted as one. Yeah. Because, again, this is all like trading and battling. And yeah. Stuff. You know what? I'm gonna go with Yokai Watch just because it still has the best pun animal ever in Corn Fused. It's just a corn that doesn't know anything. <laughs> he's confused. He's corn. He's, he's corn, corn, and he's confused. Like that's like a solid pun. <laughs> like I'm gonna give Yokai Watch just this, just because a lot of their monsters are puns and they're really like just. Oh, but I make a joke and it's stupid. They do it and it's art. <laughs> yeah, because they have a monster that goes with it. Gil. They were doing it before it was stupid. If you draw pictures with yours, <laughs> yeah, if you you yeah, have to draw pictures now. You have to become a better artist, and when you like become a, a good artist, Gil, Gil's gonna I will... start bringing the sketch pad with him. <laughs> yeah, just bring like a notebook. <laughs> just be like, hold on, <laughs> and then make the pun. <laughs> yeah, no. If Digimon doesn't count, I don't really have any other Pokemon. I think Digimon counts. Digimon counts. I don't. I mean, it's the Did semantics of what came first, by, but like... And by my favorite Pokemon ripoff, I mean I liked it more than Pokemon. <laughs> but why, Eli? Well, it's just it like... Digimon Because the Digimon champions. were just like interchangeable fucking... I don't know, livestock? I don't know what to classify them as. Like, Maybe. Pokemon, you're just like, yeah, fuck it, I've got like 300 fucking Rattatas. I'll, I'll sell them for money. <laughs> Digimon was interchangeable. Like, they changed, like, Digimon, like, every season. No, but I'm saying that, like, in the games, it wasn't like you caught 30,000 Agumons. <laughs> yeah, like, you just had you a get... core base of these yeah, three Digimon like, that you followed get you. one? Not, it depend on the game, but... Digimon World 3 was my favorite game, though. Yeah, World 2 was my favorite, because you could get anything in that. And they, like, you could change them out. Digimon World 3, the monkey guy's megaform was a pirate. So that was like my favorite thing. I don't know why. He was a pirate. No, that was his champion form, wasn't it? Ah, oh, he was a pirate. I never played World 3. <gasps> what? I never played World. The only one that I played is World. Never or the one where, like, if you didn't get him to the bathroom enough, it turned into a Nunamon? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, good times. I believe I've still got two and three. Anyway, so yeah, that's my answer. <laughs> oh, alright. And we have uh, one more question. I've asked this numerous times, but do you guys have any games that you're extremely hyped about coming out soon? No. I mean, I feel like it's pretty <laughs> pretty evident that uh, when things gain too much hype, I jump off the train immediately because I know it's going to fucking crash and burn. <laughs> Your expectations are too it's high, like God damn it. <laughs> It was like, the, the, Sea of Thieves, I, when it first like started getting a lot of news, I was like, oh, this looks really cool and stuff. I'm, I'm kind of psyched. And now it's just like, yeah, I, there's way too much hype. I, I don't know about this, guys. That was a thing for New York, wasn't it? Anyway, uh, there actually is a game, and I can't think of what it's called. God damn it. Be careful. You might get hyped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no shit. It probably will. Um, I'm... I mean, I'm hyped for CD Projekt Red's game that they're working on. Is this The Witcher 4? No, they're not going to make a Witcher game for a little while. Uh, fuck, is it called? It's, it's actually, it's more like a... Like a futuristic theme, rather than... Oh, that's weird. Back in time. I don't remember what it's called. I think it has a year in the title now. Uh, you know what? I'm actually excited for uh, Switch Bros. Well, even though you don't have a Switch. I probably have a Switch by the end of the year. <laughs> Just for Switch Bros? Nah. There's like other things I want to actually get on there. If you have things on the market. I think it, the, the, the indie games that Mario they were showing... Rabbids. The indie Well, the indie games they were showing that are going to go on the Switch actually interested me a lot. So I was like... Yeah. You could always get into The Binding of Isaac. Yeah. Terrible game. Don't even know what that is. Eli just You don't know what that is? No. Oh, God. 
Is it as bad as the Spencer Parabola? Because like everyone like likes the Spencer Parabola, and I just fucking hate so, that character. So here's the thing with the Binding of Isaac. <coughs> I say some fucked up stuff, but that game is fucked up. <laughs> and I also don't think it's very good. I just You're don't like basically it. a boy named Isaac whose mother tried to kill him for religious reasons, so you jumped in the basement. You you have to play the game. It's it's weird. I also don't like the Spen- uh, Spencer's Parabola. Stanley. I don't, Stanley yeah. Parabola. I don't know if you guys played that game. I fucking I hate it. I love it. It's stupid. Uh, it I don't know, some of the humor kind of made me laugh. Eh, I get you. Just because <laughs> it's like very, I don't know, sarcastic jackass type stuff. That it's very sense. understandable. So, that's been them Game Boys, guys. Thank you for listening. And if, you would, if you would like, you don't have to. Like Scrabbit Chip. But you don't have to. You don't have to. Don't do it.